Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can block the Windows 10 upgrade. Now, if you're if you're happy with your operating system, whether it be Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, and you have no intention of upgrading to Windows 10 with that operating system, then you're going to probably want to block that uh, upgrade to Windows 10. And the way you can do that is by using a a piece of software and I'll show you what it is in a second and it allows you to disable all the functionality for that upgrade so you don't get the nagging box down the bottom right hand corner here you take this icon away and also you would lose the folders inside your C root directory you'll see them here where it says the dollar sign windows dot tilde BT and the dollar sign windows dot tilde WS these are your upgrade files here and you'll see once you look at your up, update section here let me just quickly show you the update section here you'll see that this is all ready to upgrade to windows 10 and if you're not happy if you don't want to upgrade to windows 10 then you can opt out by just removing it all and they haven't made it easy for you to do that so let me just show you uh, quickly what the file is as well if you come into your view his the update history and then look for installed updates you'll see a file inside here for Windows 7 which is basically the file that upgrades for Windows 10 it's the upgraded upgrade file and you can uninstall this manually if you wanted to or hide it uh, but there is a tool that does all this for you and I'll show you that in a second so this is it here as you can see now to stop this there's a free programs that you can actually use that actually do this for you. One's called GWX Control Panel. And as you can see here, it gives you the information here. This is all the information to tell you what's running on your system, i.e. about Windows 10. Is Windows 10 icon app running? Yes. Is Windows 10 icon app enabled? Yes. Is Windows 10 updates or upgrades allowed? Yes. And it's also telling you non-critical Windows 10 settings enabled? Yes and so on okay and it gives you a link to these two folders which are to do with your download folder and you can see they're all here ready to go and this section down here is where you can disable and delete all this content so for instance click here to disable get Windows 10 app remove icon and also click delete Windows 10 download folder or folders and then you've got here to change Windows update settings and so on basically because what they're trying to do is force you to upgrade to Windows 10 when you might not want to and this program allows you to disable all that so you can click here to clear the Windows update cache click here to delete Windows 10 programs and click here to prevent Windows 10 upgrades as you can see and if you hover over it gives you a little balloon bubble here that uh, gives you all the information about what these buttons actually do uh, gives you the full information there and there is a couple of other programs that you can use and I'll quickly show you those one's called I don't want Windows 10 and this is a program that allows you to disable some stuff I do like the uh, GWX control panel better but this is another one that if you want to use this you can do and another real good one uh, which is from Steve Gibson uh, website which makes it very easy to disable as you can see here you just click on this button here and it will disable uh, that Windows 10 upgrade and if you want to know more about this program um, you can click on the link there and it will take you to his website and it tells you all the information about what this program is and what it does okay so you can see here this is what it will look like and so on So let's go ahead and uh, remove all this here. So click here to disable get Windows 10 app remove icon. So I'm going to do that and say yes. And you can see here now they've changed. I'm going to click here to delete the Windows 10 download folder. And this is going to take care of that 30 files that's all done now this is going to change the 
update settings as you can see here change windows update settings check for windows updates as you can see here and uh, I can change this to and you can see not recommended here No, yeah, we're going to leave that as is on here. I think we're going to leave this one. Check for Windows updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. I think we'll leave this as it is. And it says here, give me recommended updates the same way I receive important updates, not recommended because this leaves you the risk of receiving unwanted windows. So, so you want to take this tick out here. Um, because this is going to download that Windows 10 again so we don't want that and you can see here download Windows 10s but let me to choose whether to install them Windows will notify me when the downloads are ready so basically you can do that if you want to you can change this to this one if you wish or this one so I'm going to leave mine on this check okay and click OK here now we're going to click here where it says click to disable non-critical Windows 10 settings and that's done there now you can see here this disables the Windows 10 upgrade from your computer so we're going to click on this and that's now done and click here to delete the Windows 10 program do this and I'm gonna leave them I'm not gonna uh, and this is enables the uh, GMC control panel hold on enables or disables the GWX control panel monitor mode feature so we can do that if we wish I'm just gonna leave this as is right now but if you want to run this one you can do you can disable this so pretty much I'm happy the way that is and you can see now the icon is now disappeared here and if we check our C root directory you can see those folders have now been deleted they've now been gone and we should be pretty much good to go let's just check our Windows update area here and you can see here we have updates here and you can go through here now and uh, check which ones you want which ones you want to download and which ones you don't want to download so as you can see here pretty handy and pretty nifty that's all done for me so anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up I hope this really helps you out guys um, if it does then hit that like button also hit the uh, subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that or any video requests then you can head over to my forums and uh, join up over there it's free to join and uh, there's a nice bunch of guys over there that will help you out as well as myself and uh, we've got a lot of technicians over there that help people uh, with computer problems if you want to join my Facebook fan page then you can do the information's on the screen right now anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support uh, all the links will be in the description for these programs. Thanks again. Bye for now.